Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today we are doing a 2020-21 to 21 winter forecast and outlook, and we are starting with the winter temperature outlook, and let's get sh straight into the video. So if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button and like button, and comment what you think about the video, and so yeah, so... For, so for the purple area, which is cool, which is states like Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, um, south of Texas, etc. Um, I predict cool, and I predict cool because, well, it's not supposed to be too cold or hot. Because of La Nina, I see some La Nina patterns coming along this winter. And so I don't predict any snow, but I just predict like some cool temperatures around 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. But not like overly hot or cold, like I said earlier. So, and we could see about, like, one to two inches of, like, snow, like, probably zero to one inches, and about one to two inches of rain, but overall, I also predict it to be a bit dry because of how, like, warm it is in these areas. So, the next area is changeable, but overall chilly, which is areas like south southern Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, West Virginia, Kentucky, and Oklahoma, etc. I predict changeable, but overall chilly. So it could be changeable. That means that it could rain, snow, hail. It could be 60 one day and 40 and 30 the next day. And 50 one day, 60 the other 30 the next so basically i just predict temperatures all over the place around 30 degrees fahrenheit to 60 because well this winter is expected to like be, be warmer a bit warmer than average so yeah and this tannish area brownish tannish area the next area is fluctuations likely so fluctuations mean an irregular rising and falling in number or amount of variation. So that means that the temperatures could like fall down from like 30 degrees to possibly like 10. I'm just saying an example. But yeah, so there could be like snow that like could be like 5 feet wide to like 1 foot wide. I'm just giving examples of what it means. But basically, I predict temperatures to go, like, even wor like worse, like, plummet down. That means it's not going to be as high as temperatures expected. So, s these states are, like, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, northern Pennsylvania, New York, um, Colorado, Arizona. So... And cold, less harsh than normal. So in these areas, like Canada, Michigan, Wisconsin, etc., these areas, um, well, they are usually really, really cold, but but it's still cold, but less harsh than normal. So there could be like really heavy snow plummeting these areas, but. I don't predict that this winter because, again, La Nina patterns. And I don't really predict that. So, in the last area, which has it is mild, which is Idaho, Montana, Washington, etc., California, I predict these areas mild because usually. On those areas, it is really, really super cold, but I don't really predict that much of a cold temperatures that year, and so I just only predict mild, kind of like cool, 
kind of like cool except it's not and mild is like a bit warmer than cool because cool is like can like when you're hot it like when you turn on a fan that's cool but mild is like okay 60 to 70 degrees around that but yeah so now we are on tropical tidbits and this is october so winter could be like coming along so obviously i i do see some la nina patterns oh it's september so august is quite cooler than october but basically these areas might have like warmer temperatures like probably up here will have the coolest all I'm saying is I don't think it's going to be that cold in October. November, a month away from December, which is the start of winter. And, yeah, we see some way warmer temperatures in October. The whole Pennsylvania area is like 0 0.5 to 0 0.75. But it's not expected to be so, so, so hot or warm. But expect to be like somewhat warm now this is December still some La Nina but I can still see like temperatures around 60 to 70 uh, for some reason because these areas are around 2 to 3.5 so yeah and then this is January which it is expected to like shift down to like the south southern area of like Texas but you see what you do not see some of that coldness coming cold temperatures into probably like January yeah it's January 2021 this is February the temperatures cold temperatures kind of shifted but still kind of in the US the rest of it is in Canada and Alaska but obviously, it's still warm, relatively warm. It is around 0 0.75 to 2.5. So, that's still relatively warm. This is March. Now, it is... Cold temperatures are in, like, north e the northeast. So, I expect, like, probably, like, a blizzard around... February, March, in the Northeast. Here is April. And that is it for the winter. But I can go as far as April anyways. So, yeah. And now we are looking at precipitation. So, we can't see the other area, but we can still see, like, part of the U.S., Never mind. So we see the U.S. in so in October 2020, or winter is like two months away. We see some rain in Florida, some like heavy rain in Florida, and like barely any rain over here, and in the middle. November we see some rain in the Philly area and like Pennsylvania, but it's really really dry. In the Gulf of Mexico, which is why I said cool and like like kind of chilly over here because of the rain. And then mild over here. So this is when winter starts. Obviously, it is very dry in Florida, Texas, um, South Carolina, North Carolina coast, and Georgia, and Alabama, Louisiana, kind of, sort of. And then California, obviously those areas are really dry. And like Indiana, Illinois, Ohio, West Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, Missouri, etc. It like, the, temp the um, precipitation is already starting to rise. As we get into January, we could probably see some like snow over here. And then very, like no snow, obviously, in like, Florida, because I get that's the warmest spy, I believe. So, 
February again, we can see a huge snowstorm right in the middle of February. March. Um, relatively dry, not really. And then April, it is obviously dry, but we still see some rain in Florida and Texas. Yeah. So this is the official winter weather forecast. So obviously in the northeast, snowy, which I said in like those anomalies that we saw earlier in the precipitation anomaly, I saw a big snowstorm in this area. Numerous mixed events, that means like rain, snow, hail, everything else. Not too snowy, it like kind of... Like, not too snowy, but, like, still some snow. Like, probably one to two inches. So, a bit dry west, closer to average east. So, that means drier over here, average over here. Mountain snow. That means in the mountains over here, there's obviously going to be some snow over here. Wet, like, pre like precipitation, like, wall, like, rain. And active weather mainly with rain that means that it is like there could be snow but there couldn't like like there could be like some rain like severe rain heavy storms and some snow and yeah guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i love to inform you even more but the next forecast i'm going to be making is in August. So, yeah guys, bye.